welcome back to Knitting in Our Jeans. I'm Liz. I'm Carolyn. Um, I'm two Liz for you, T O O L I Z Z F O R Y O U, on Instagram and Ravelry. Um, we, as podcast, are on Ravel on Instagram and Ravelry. On yes. Instagram, we are Knitting in Our Jeans, all one word. Yes. And on Ravelry, you can find us in the groups. As knitting in our jeans. And it's all down below. So yes. you should be able to find it. In fact, we do our our vlog podcast notes down below. Mm-hmm. Um, and and who are you on Instagram and Ravelry? That's an existential question. I did <laughs> <laughs> I'm C P R E D M O R, um, which is a very old email um, first part. Um, and so when I was thinking of my Ravelry name, I either think of myself as C-P-R-E-D-M-O-R because that was my email for a very long time or as Dr. P. And since I thought that was a bit, that carried a bit of hubris, um, I decided to go with C-P-R-E-D-M-O-R. I am that on Ravelry. There is a Twitter, but I can't get into it because I've forgotten my password. And... (laughs) I do. I have, and you have the Instagram, Instagram, but I usually uh, Instagram under knitting in our jeans, and sometimes I remember the C, and sometimes I don't. It's fine. If knitting in our jeans is posting without hashtags, that's probably me. You posted a few weeks ago with hashtags. I was so proud of you. It, I texted you. It, it happens occasionally. It's a yes. very exciting day when it happens. <laughs> so that's who we are. Yeah, and we're obviously mother and daughter. Um. So welcome People back. Say that we're looking very much alike. Damn, genetics, they're a bear. It, well, that's what the genes is. Um, oh, and so uh, we should talk about what Ben said. Ben, her beloved other, when he found out that I was giving two oh, points. Oh, wait. So if any of you happen to be one of my mother's students, good on you. Like, well done. It was Connor. Okay, well, Connor, if you're watching, I am impressed because I got a text message going, so if you see our subscriber count go up, it might be because some of my students talked me into giving them two points. Yeah. Really, Ma? Yeah. Really? Well, because I, I, I'm not just going to give you two points on the exam. You got to do know. something. You got to do something for it. And but I, I couldn't think of another, like, fake question. So. <laughs> I love it. And we were talking about social media, and they said, well, what if we subscribe? And I said, oh. I love it. I right. love it. Not, I'm not trolling for people. You're not, but it's so great. So anyway. she, she texted me, and it was almost as if you could hear her. So my students, they they bamboozled me, and I'm I'm old, and I'm very easily confused. And I, I wasn't mean, easily confused. You was, were not, but that was like the tone, kind of. I wasn't easily confused because no, the but exam, that was the tone of the, the text exam message. The is a comprehensive exam covering no. the entire semester. There are fifty questions. Two points each. So basically, signing up for this podcast was one question. Which is fine. Which is fine. But it's There just, are over a thousand points to the entire class. And I'm just saying. So I'm just saying that. I'm also just saying that was the tone of the text yes, it message. Is the tone of the text it was message. like, I got so, bamboozled. <laughs> so several yes. of them were quite impressed that we were doing Vlogmas. That, oh, I, yeah. that I even knew what Vlogmas was. And I'm thinking... Well, obviously, you don't know what I do with the rest of my life. No. 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 Anyway. <laughs> oh, so then one of my kids got, said, you know, I noticed, un, un asked by me, so, mm-hmm. so he wrote in, he says, I, I've gone through all the questions, and I think that there's like four or five that may have some issues, and this is these are the issues, and this is what I think the correct answer would be. And I said, five points to you, and five points to Gryffindor. Well done. <laughs> well done, mother. And he came into the exam, and he goes, I really like that. I said. And then I was doing something else that was slightly snarky, and someone looked at me, and I said, look, this is the last day of class, and I'm sorry, but you got me. Yeah. Not Dr. Predmore, you got me. And I said, we kind of like that. Like you. I said, well, good, because this is the way it is. So then the other thing that I found out was that if I managed to get two articles published, that maybe I'll be able to teach online and from the boat. So who knows? This could be fun. So anyway, we've got. So yes. Yeah, so what Ben's comment was that was was yeah, that she uh, she she got bamboozled by her students in her uh, pre-finals haze, um, and I was <laughs> like, yeah, not true. We were I. 
you know, there's a number of them who could certainly use two points. And my whole point of education is it's not an I gotcha kind of situation. I'm there to try to help you do well. I'm there to help mm -hmm. try to help you be better. I'm trying to... I'm not there to show that I know more than no. you or I could look up things better because I'm you can. pretty sure I can, especially if you're one of well, my students. But be that as it may, we did it and we had a good time, I think. Well, and I said that... Um, and some, I found out, are beginning knitters. Oh! Yeah, so y'all well, are welcome. Well, it was funny. Um, at work, we had a little, like, workshop on how to do, like, one of these um, beginning of job kind of things. And... You know, beginning of a new project. Yeah, kind of and he, beginning of you finding a job. No, but right. beginning of a new project. Um, we call them jobs because we give them job numbers. Okay. You know, it's just I'm not I'm not leaving Plaza as of right now. That is not I'm not making that announcement anywhere. Um, I'm very happy where I am. Yada yada. So yes, <laughs> it was very funny because they kept on making you know one of our VPs kept on making the point of this isn't just for Elizabeth. This is just a good refresher for everyone. And one of the things was, you know, don't tell, don't, don't tell everyone everything you know. And I'm like, I seriously, I almost raised my hand and I was like, and if you want me to call and ask for the info, I can play dumb girl really well. Yeah. Like really well. Um, which I know some people will look down, down upon, but I have my mother as an example who can run circles around her students and me sometimes. And yet when you need... To have someone help you get out of an evil French ditch. I managed to get two Frenchmen to stop on the highway and offer help. So. And get in the car out of the ditch. And one really went above and beyond because he went with us to get the. The guy. Who is the record truck driver yep. guy. Who apparently who, also cuts the grass yeah. at even so that you don't see the evil French ditch. So, anyway. so I was, I have been taught from a young age that no matter how smart, how many degrees, yada, yada, yada you have. It depends on If the you situation. need to play dumb girl, milk it. Because sometimes it just works. Well, it's yes. When you need help, you need help. And yep. this face apparently says, I need help desperately. And could you help me across the street? I, and I'm going, fine. Fine. Mm -hmm. Whatever this face says, we're going with. Absolutely. Um, but I thought that was very funny because one funny. of them was like, we don't need you to play. And I'm like, hey, these guys, if it's a subcontractor who doesn't know me, they don't know what I'm capable of. They, they just know I'm a girl on the other end of the line. That's right. That's I have right. no problem calling them up and playing dumb. Listen, you should be able to talk to any number of different people. I have talked to women who speak Spanish only on subway cars oh, yes, who want to discuss my knitting with me because this is something that they do, and I'm more than happy to discuss this with them at whatever level they want to talk about. And oh, by the way, the pattern for the hat the is hat, up. The hat is downstairs in the box. I yes. guess we should go get it. Yeah. Um, I have pictures. I can. I will be putting pictures up on the pattern uh, later today. So I do have pictures for the hat. Um, it is getting ready to be sent out to the person who is receiving it. And uh, I believe that I've got, I, I just put the abbreviation uh, definitions up on the pattern. And uh, my tech editor, Elizabeth, has I read it, through read it, and it over. Sounds good. Um, I have my gauges on it. Um, I think I have everything except photos. And uh, I don't know if you want to hold the, the fort while I run down and get the hat. I could do that. Do we? Do we need to run down and get the hat? I don't think so. Um, it fits me. Um, and it fits me. Yeah, it does. So I'll put photos up. Um, My hair looks nice and purple. It does. Light. It does. I'll put photos up in the pattern uh, after we finish this, so mm -hmm. that you'll be able to see the hat. So anyway, that's up, and we'll have it up on the uh, group page until uh, just after New Year's, and then I'm going to be putting it up, I'm not quite sure where, maybe in the free for another two weeks, uh, maybe free um, in that, there's one thing, free for a limited time. Okay. And maybe have it free for January, and then put it up for sale. Um, so I really appreciate anybody's comments, if anybody wants to try it. Um, it solved my problem of how to make a hat using super chunky yarn but not hurt your hands because it starts off with worsted uh, and it starts off at the top. So I'm pretty pleased with it. Good. Okay. What else is new? So. Besides Ben is here. Um, I finished. 
I my rainbow it. trout hat. I have not blocked it yet, but it's only lightly slouchy right now. I think it's going to get a little bit more Blue. slouchy. Um, but I did make it so that it wasn't extremely slouchy because I didn't want that. Um, it used about a half a skein of sock yarn. That's it? So there's about 200 yards. Yep. It's not bad. No, and I think it looks really cute. I think it's very cute. Um, so I'm thinking about making a set of mitts with the other half of the ball. I'm, to in coordinate. that free for a limited time thread, they had some mitts. There's the a pair that I think I want to make already. Okay. I just pulled a stitch. Oh, no. Did you think of what that cotton pattern was the for a sweater that I had all that cotton in for? I keep looking at it. I know it's something we talked Which about. Which one? The salmon? The No, the... The graffiti? Yeah. Mm. We said something and I don't remember. We did say something. We did. I don't know. Oh, what's happening? Oh, I'm wearing my hide of foodie. Yes, you are. Yes, I am. Someone in the uh, Harry Potter group is thinking of making this as their next owl. And she said she liked mine because it didn't seem to have this abrupt transition someplace. Um, I don't know where some of the others have an abrupt transition. Maybe here at the corners. Or That's at the possible. Back, along the back. Maybe. At that midline. Maybe. I think I would make another one, but I think I would make it um I think I'd make the top longer. So I'd make my sleeves longer. And I've seen it where it's almost like a coat. Mm -hmm. So this part has come down and then it, it flares out. And I think that would be pretty too. But I love it. It's warm. Um, I know that when I made it, I didn't think lace was going to be this warm. But it's lovely. It's wrong now. You have a pulled stitch. One of the I problems. I just want to make sure. Okay. No, wearing. it's just pulled. It's not. I wanted to make sure it wasn't. It's easy to pull. Right. But I wanted to make sure you hadn't pulled and snapped it. Right. Because it is um, a single. It's the, the singles. The rustic fingering. Yes. From Neighborhood. From Neighborhood. Neighborhood Fiber. So, but. I'm also still knitting on the Grandpa sweater. This is the reverb for Grandpa number two. Well, Grandpa number two in terms of number of sweaters. Yes. Let's um, see. How far did you get? So, I have... I am I just did the fourth decrease for the sleeves. I believe that makes it... Hold on. Let me finish this. Okay. Row and I will measure because it's over four inches. Oh wow! Um, we well, made progress. Yeah, I just wish I had made more progress because you know Christmas is in a week. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I didn't finish the body to do the sleeves. Oh. Because I wanted to make sure I had enough yarn for the sleeves and then to finish up the body with the other skein of yarn. Yeah, just. Oh, well, while I'm sitting here looking, um, um, Knit was had these up. I think they're up for sale. And they're 12-inch rulers that have magnets on the other side. So if you have one of those pattern holders, you can have mm -hmm. it so that it's... Whole. So I'm at 5 inches out of 15 and a half, I think I need, until the cuff. Yeah. Because it's a 2 and something inch cuff. 2 and a half inch oh, cuff. this is lovely to have. That is super cool. Yep. Um, so that's all I've been knitting on. Um, I need to start a hat for someone else. Um, and oh my goodness, so one of the girls I work with, what? who's wonderful, I yeah. do like her a lot, okay. she asked me if I would make her a bun hat. And she goes, okay. and she's so funny, and she goes, I want it like this. Hat. Yeah, and she showed me a photo, and I'm like, okay, and it's actually, it looks very much like the Timber Lake hat mm -hmm. and so what I want to do or the Timber Bay hat sorry and what I want to do is I want to get her to try on one of my hats right so, you can get so I know what the size is and then I want her to feel a few different yarns yeah. um because she said she'll pay me for it which is like totally fine I was like yeah it'll probably be like 30 bucks you know I'm not Cost gonna buy yarn. extra yarn right you know, and it'll probably take me a day because honestly you just do it until the crown decreases and then you don't decrease She's got a lot of hair. Okay. She's uh, Latina. Well, I have a lot of hair, too. Yeah, no, no. You she's might... got, like, a lot of hair. Okay. You like, might want to do a little crown. I might. Face. I want to first, I want to try a hat or one or two hats on her to see what right. she wants. And then mm -hmm. I'm thinking of using 
I might because I like her. Yeah. And she's lovely. And she's lovely. Um, I might actually use some of my leftover Vashta Narada. Ooh. I know. This is how much I like this woman. Um, also because she offered, like, she very respectfully asked and was like, hey, I just, you know, just offered to pay me. And that was super sweet. So. That's very sweet. I, uh, you know, and she was like, it doesn't need to be anytime soon, whenever you get to it. And so, you know, I'm going to finish the grandpa sweater. I may and take then, this stuff for the thrummed mittens with us for Christmas. Because that might it's be an getting idea. pretty cold. It's really cold. It's like really cold. It's really nasty. I wore my. It's, gonna, it's not supposed to break forty today. I wore my um, Imperial Yarns tunic on Thursday. Mm -hmm. God, it was so cold. So mm -hmm. glad I wore it. And then, of course, it snowed on Friday. Right. Right. Hell, what the it hell? Took me four, four, count them, four hours to get home. I gave a final. Gave my last final. And I packed up, and I was ready to go to the Christmas party because, just like your company, they give great gifts. Mm -hmm. they, you know, they raffle off really great gifts, televisions, a mm -hmm. computer. And I get out to the car, and there's already an inch of snow mm -hmm. on it. And it's sticking to the street. And all I could remember was the snowstorm the week after Sandy where I stayed yep. for the School of Business dinner mm -hmm. because one of my dear friends pleaded with me to stay. And he says, well, you know, the city will plow. No, the, they won't. The answer Lies. was, no, the city did plow. But no, I live in did. Nassau County. Yeah. And as soon as I hit the line in Nassau County, all bets were off. Yeah. It was horrible. Absolutely yeah. horrible. And when you got to New Hyde Park Road, there is a slight incline, and there were people. It was it had become iced, mm -hmm. and there were people stuck all over the hill, so that no one could get by. I waited there an hour. In On the Friday, or was in this the previous storm? Okay, I'm just confirming for them to bring a plow to plow away the cars. Yeah, and then I got up and over, but by that time they hadn't plowed the rest of it because yeah. everybody was stuck. And there were six inches of snow mm -hmm. on the highway, and there were trees falling on the highway. So that was my memory. And I said, if I stay, it's only going to get worse. Yep. Who knows how long this is going to go. And Nassau County is not going to be plowing. So I got on the road at 4 o'clock. Mm -hmm. Called your father at 4.15 to say, I'm not staying. I'm going to be home. I'm on my way. I didn't get home till quarter to 6. Right. It's three hours and 45 minutes, not four hours. Quarter. Four. 30 quarter to six. Four to quarter of six. Qu quarter to eight. Quarter to eight. Sorry. You said quarter to six. Quarter to eight. I'm I sorry. crossed the bridge. Crossed the bridge. Mm -hmm. And I looked at my GPS and it said that the Grand Central and Northern State and the LIE were magenta cranberry. They were this color, which meant they were stopped. Bad. So I got off at Northern Boulevard, and I drove all the way out to um, Norwich, 107, mm -hmm. near, near Oyster Bay. Mm -hmm. And then I went south on oh, Newbridge Oyster Road. Oh. Yeah, well, 107, mm -hmm. down to Newbridge Road. I slipped by the meadow, meadow something polo grounds. Meadowbrook Polo Grounds. Mm -hmm. There's a hill. I slid down the hill. Now, I have a four-wheel drive for utility vehicle. Not as good as my original Ford Explorer, because that sucker would have gone to four-wheel drive low mm -hmm. and would have been fine. Anyway, but I had left enough room ahead of me so that I finished sliding and I was able to stop for the light. And I continued on home. Four, I'm sorry. three hours and 45 minutes. I'm sorry. I used to like snow. We do like snow. No, no, no. You like snow. You do not like snow when you have to drive in it. No one likes snow when you have to drive I in it. I don't like snow that I have to shovel because your father's given up shoveling. So there may be a time when we're just stuck in the house because I've had it up to here. 
I think yeah. you need to find out who the local high school kid is and, you know, We've pay him 40 bucks. Him. We've not been able to find anybody. That's the problem. No one around here. They're either superannuated or they've got little kids. There's no, no high school people around here. We live in a high school desert. That's Any, frustrating. Anyway, that was Friday, and I'm so ticked off that I didn't get to the Christmas party because I was so looking forward to it. And, of course, I had been trying not to gain humongous amounts of poundage over the over the uh, Christmas break. So I had been very careful not to, to go to get potato chips and not to go and eat someone and else's needed. cookies. And I was starving. Uh -huh. So I ended up at Burger King. Good. And I got a chicken sandwich, but I also got french fries. Of course. Because I needed something. Reasonable. But anyway. But I digress. So what I'm working on. Yeah, what are you working on? Uh, my piece of paper. Ah, there's my piece of paper. I am working on my snoop. No. Howl. Howl. It's a good thing I'm here, y'all. Yes, it is. My Stephen B. Howl, Howl. which is from their, uh, the Minnesota, Minneapolis yarn crawl. Yes. Twin Cities yarn crawl. And I've got one more row to go, and then I'll put it on waste yarn, and I'll be able to, then. and you finish. So you do, what so you, you do know. is you... That's right. You do the scarf part, and then you take off these stitches that will become the hat, and then you finish the ribbing going around, and then you go back in and pick up the hat. And my hat is going to be the purple of this. So what I have is two balls of this variegated. Are you on your second ball already? No, I'm not. No. I have two balls of this, and then I have a ball of the purple. And that will be lovely. And it's in a bag downstairs somewhere. Ah. So, but, so I've been working on that. I finished elongating my father's sleeve. So I picked it out. Actually, one I picked out, the other I cut. I couldn't find. I had woven it in so well, I couldn't find the ends. Not an uncommon problem with me. No. So, ah, no, it's not purple. It's, it's pink. pink. That'll go with my coat. Yes. So these are the two extra ones. I decided that I'm not going to be knitting any more of this gauge swatch. I'm going to wash it as it is. Good. And then I can start that tunic. So I think I'm just going to bind that off. Is going to be your owl tunic? No. No, oh, I thought it I was. Had, no, no, no. So, no, this is something else I can make. So, but... So I've been working on my howl. What is that purple and green thing? I'm going to talk about that. Okay. See, I do it to her, too. So. <gasps> oh, my goodness. I've separated for the sleeves. But I'm running two balls of yarn. It looks great, Mama. And I am going up. I have a. Oh, da -da 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 -da. Here. That's my marker for where the sleeve starts. Uh -huh. I'm going up four inches and then I'm going to make a keyhole. Okay. So then going up four inches and then I will go to the center and I will bind off probably four or five stitches. I was thinking five so I'd have a center. Well it depends on how many stitches you have on there now. A lot. <laughs> okay. But if you have an odd number then you decrease an odd number to stay to keep it centered. But right. if you have an even number you have to decrease an even number to keep it centered. Right. Anyway, we're going to decrease that, or we're going to bind it off, mm -hmm. and then I'll make a keyhole, and then um, add stitches, add stitches. to backwards, come straight up. Backwards loop cast on? Um, actually, I like the knitted or purl cast on. It gives it a little bit more body. You can do the, oh, so the cable cast on? Yeah. And then go straight up, and then it's going to have an I-cord, and then an I-cord tie. Of course it is. Of course. Of course I like tie neck sweaters. And there's I not know. That many. There is not. I know. Really I'm not, not saying I'm not saying anything against it. I'm just so you have your aesthetic and you it's do. adorable. It's mine. It's adorable. It is mine. I know. So anyway, um I was working on getting this done for the podcast. Ah. All the way up. And I think that's pretty good to be doing front and back at the same time. And I love the color. This basket is lovely. But then this I could finish today and get it off the needles. And d remember we said how cold it is? 
this will mm-hmm. be lovely to have. So yeah. I want to finish this. Then I can go back have to this. Have you been working on your color work hat? No, I didn't mm-hmm. do that at all. But I'd like to get this off and get the pattern up. Mm-hmm. So that would be nice. Um, we're going to do the washing. Of the, the swatch. Of the swatch. And see how it balloons. I put my green sweater through the wash again. Mm-hmm. I haven't tried it on yet. Okay. So I don't know what that did. Um, it's it was still off gassing little pieces mm-hmm. because it, your watch I, and your your hairband on your wrist have a few little greenies. Oh, I know. It's just like you can't see them on camera, but it's it's pretty funny. And then um, I have this is my owl. Ah, uh, yes, you're doing the the stitch in time. I remember. I remember what sweater you're doing. The 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 yes, that one. Yes. So I uh, don't think anybody could see the pattern from there. Nope, you did not give away the secret sauce. Oh, lovely swatch. And I made gauge. <gasps> Look at that. Lovely. Isn't that great? So I have five or six skeins of this Hampton, Hampton Studio Sock by the Neighborhood. Neighborhood. What a surprise, right? Um, I know, with us, it's either Nerd Girl or Neighborhood. And... Not Cheryl like we have favorites. Help me find the buttons. They're beautiful. They're white they? with the little patterning. I think you can see them. Yeah, they're beautiful. We thought we. I thought it was going to get blue, but because this is such a variegated blue, I like the and white. It's, and it's a sea foam turquoise blue and blue blue. Mm-hmm. We couldn't find. It. And these are just decorative buttons. There, yes. I've been through the pattern. There is no buttonhole to be found. Good. Which is good. So these are just going to be decorative mm-hmm. buttons. And so that's all done. I've done my swatch. So now it's just a matter of finding the story. To, to write it up. To write it up. And I finally posted a picture of this on um, in Ravelry asking for some help with the good. story. So hopefully someone will come to my aid on that. And then the other thing I have down here, the person who's getting the hat that I made. Oh, yes. I have not seen what you got. She always gets some great gifts from her coworkers. Oh, oh I my love, goodness. I love glass ornaments. This so is a handmade ornament from Cairo made by a Coptic Christian. And so it was cute. bought. In Cairo. So here, it's so a Santa cute. with a cane. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Isn't he adorable? And it's beautiful. Yes. Um, so I love it. And then she is going to get the hat and a copy of the pattern. Did I tell you? So we had on Friday a company potluck. And did I tell you that um, you tell me Francesca, anything. she made me, my myself and a few other people in the office are gluten-free with, like, other food allergies. She made us our own little thing of gluten-free, dairy-free eggplant parm. Oh, my goodness. How and was it? It was delicious. So she doesn't bread her eggplant. She just flours it. So she got, like, she found nice Pillsbury. Flour. No, she found Pillsbury all-purpose gluten flour. Gluten-free really? flour, yeah. What have I got I, on me? You just had another hair. Oh. Um, They're flying off they left, are. right, and center. But Same here. I have it's so okay. much of it, it doesn't really matter. Um, And it was delicious. And so she just, um, she just fries those, I guess, or lightly fries them. That would be good for New Year's. And then, and we could put fake cheese. Or yeah. make one with not fake oat. No. I can ask her for the recipe. I would get all fit, all stuff we can eat. I'm not doing this. We're not playing that, that game no more? We're not playing that game no more. Um, that's so nuts. My house, my food, my rules. That's what I said. Oh, my God. I felt so bad. I said that to Greg when they were here in um, October, and we went up to see Cassie, and then we made mac and cheese before they got on the train home. And I was like, it is gluten-free pasta, and it is fake oat cheese, but real bacon. And he was like, I expect nothing less in this house. And I was like, good, because it's my house. Um, and it tastes fine. It, it does. tastes good. I mean, we also haven't had the real stuff in quite a while. But we did at one point. At one point. Yes. Um, but 
I thought that was so sweet that she made That's me my very own. Sweet. And no one else wanted to take any home, so I have an entire thing in my um my fridge at home. Well, you could have brought it over here. Yeah, but I want it for like dinner. Oh, <laughs> next week. <laughs> okay. Let's not I now share have... anything. Just saying, I'd love to have a taste. Okay. Okay. So let's see. My mom's present is done, and it's over here. Those of you who don't remember. It's this scarfette. It's lovely. Slightly lacy. Yes, it's and lovely. And it's got this little hole. So it's really very easy mm -hmm. to figure out. I think I'm also going to make Christmas cookies for the office. I think I'm going to do that this I week. I like it this way better. But anyway. Yes. So my mother will be, oh, I like that. My mother will be able to wear it relatively easily yeah she's complaining about the cold already yeah so she called me yesterday asked me how cold it was oh lovely. i told her i was not leaving my apartment okay. and she goes well that's a great idea it is very cold out i said very yes cold. i know it's very cold so anyway we have that done and that will yes. be wrapped i've already wrapped my dad's sweater we need to grab a few other things mm -hmm. you asked what this is yes i did ask what that is one of your father's patients made this She's a quilter. It's beautiful. It and is she, beautiful. It's a perfect size sweater bag. And she put this on. She ah, said that's to hang your keys on. So you perfect. don't have to go delving into the bag. It is a square. Look at that. That is so beautiful. On the bottom. It's, it's so beautiful. It's stunning. Absolutely stunning. She's got a piece of covered cardboard. On the in bottom. In the bottom. Mm -hmm. Ugh, look at that. She has done a heck of a job. It's beautiful. It's absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. And she says, well, I know how much you do. Aww. And she says, I thought this, this would allow you to go around. I think it's obviously not quite square because you can't put this thing in the wrong way. Hm. Um, there. But it's gorgeous. That is beautiful. And one of the one of the fabrics has butterflies on it. I just think this is stunning. It is. So thank you very much. I love it. I love it, love it. So those are my gifts. That's what I cast on. I worked on my sweater, so I did work on that. Mm -hmm. Finished nothing at the moment. So so you want to know what I managed to not to cast on hold on Good. the tunic. Because I knew that you'd want me to wash my gauge swatch. Yes. Um, hey, I haven't cast on the, like, four sweaters I've wanted to cast on in the last few weeks. All right, so I need to make a, I need to put the thrummed mittens, mittens. into a bag to take with me. Yes. To get that done. And I guess if I don't finish the sweater, I need to take that, well, I won't finish the sleeves, so I'll have to take the sleeves with me. Okay, what, what, what came in the mail? I, so, first, I'm going to show you my dress. Oh, yes. This is such a hit. So, it has giant vintage ornaments on the bottom. I'm so, sure a lot of you can remember those glass ornaments. And it has pockets, and the pockets have the the same fabric, which oh, is super, nice. super nice little touch. So, the skirt is gray, and the top is black, but it has it comes with this lovely belt, and I this love it. This is from that new website? Yes. The not new, but new to me website? Yes. Um, pin up girl clothing. As I've said before, I am not being paid for any of this advertisement. I just am really enjoying the quality of the workmanship and the giant pockets. Yes, giant yeah. pockets. Um, but also, the skirt is so much fun. Um, the skirt is just like, oh my god, I love it. Also, so I personally have this problem with. Uh, gaposis. gaposis on uh, wrap tops. This is a faux wrap. It is seamed right there. Excellent. No having to worry about it. I wore it to work on Friday because we had the potluck, but we also it was also ugly sweater day, and I don't own an ugly sweater. I we really don't should. Make no ugly. Sweater. No, I do. I did though. See a really cute BB-8 one on Amazon. Oh really? But I decided like thirty dollars was not. A good enough reason to you know get it mm -mm. um so i decided to go to the other end of the holiday spectrum and wear this 
Um, and everyone gave me compliments. I can't tell if half of them were like sarcastic or not, but I was like, I don't care. I look super cute. Um, so right. yeah, um, I'm going to wear it as much as possible for the next week. And then next season, it's going to be what I wear essentially all season. Perfect. Because I don't think it will ever go out of style. No. Because it's so classic. It's perfect. And I just love the giant, like, looking down and seeing these giant vintage ornaments. Oh, it just makes me so happy. It's lovely. Um, so that nice. showed up on Thursday. Nice. That was a very exciting mail day. Very exciting. And then. I agree. What? On Friday. There's more. Yes. But wait, there's more. A very small oh. box showed up with my Cyber Monday order. Oh my God. So, all of this yarn has been gifted to me by family or friends um, who have paid me for it. So, this is Nerd Girl Yarns, um, My Internet Friends Are Real, which was the colorway for the retreat on Foxy. So, it's on BFL, is it BFL? Polworth and Silk. Just feel it. Just feel it. Uh huh. So, uh -huh. what I'm going to knit. You're just lucky you don't live in this house. I know. And I walk in my sleep. I know. <laughs> um, so what I'm gonna make out of this is a rosa, a rosa pullover, and so it's <gasps> oh, it's oversized. Nice. So I'm thinking of knitting one size down. I would. Because I'm not wearing, I have a few oversized sweaters, and I'm realizing that I really like the patterns for them, but I don't like the fit. So I'm going to knit it a size down, and I have enough yarn for knitting it the size down, because I had a minor freak out on Friday night, because I thought I misordered yarn. Mm -hmm. And since this was a specialty colorway, it is no longer available now. And I was like, no! I almost, like, I was this close to sending an email being like, I was dumb, please. please. Yeah. Um, so do but, you have another one of those? No. Yeah. I, the, each one of these is 275. Okay. So this is... I knew the number a second ago. It's like 850. Yeah. 275 times 3 is 825. And for the... Close. For the 32 to 34, you need 740. You're fine. So I'm thinking that it'll be okay. So the Rosa for you all... Looks like that. I'm going to knit it size down so it'll have either zero positive ease or maybe even a little bit of negative ease. Because um, I, I can't I have tell. To say, I don't like positive ease in my sweaters. Right. Unless they're outdoor coat like sweaters. Or like my my one that has the big cowl neck. Yeah. Like that one. Yeah. Um, or even the epaulette sweater. That one looks really cute with a little bit of positive ease. Um, but I do think if I knit another one, I would knit it with the negative ease because I just prefer wearing it like that and they're more wearable to work for me like that because... Because otherwise they look a little casual. And I, and I also, I feel like I look a little frumpy when I'm sitting in them. Not yeah. when I'm standing, but when I'm sitting. And, you know, most meetings and things are done sitting down. Mm -hmm. Um, so that one, so... So, so, so you could also I'm put in some waist shaping. Right. I'm also, so I'm a 36. Mm -hmm. So that's an 18 inch flat measurement. So that would be the small, mm -hmm. but I'm thinking to do the 19 inch flat, which would get us a 38. I don't know if that's too big. Why would you do that? Because I'm scared that if I size down too much, it's not going to fit. If it doesn't fit, then I rip it out and I redo it. I'm not going to waste the yarn. No. You're right. You're giving me that look. She's giving me the look. You see the look? I know the look. I should know better than that. I'm just going to knit the small. Yeah. And maybe I can make it a little longer then and then it, because it's yeah. slightly cropped. I saw that. But I think it's really cute. I think it's very cute. Okay. Good life decisions. Uh, oh, the other thing is I have to go over there and I have to get my yarn calendar. I didn't open it. Oh. On the Vlogmas, because we, on, for those of you watching the Vlogmas, um, I did our, uh, parts of our Christmas pageant, uh, which was the little kids today, so I didn't open any of my yarn calendar. Mm. So, while you're doing that, I'm going to, I have a knot here, what? 
Okay. I've managed to wrap my yarn totally. Yeah, I saw you starting to do that and I wasn't sure what you were doing, but... Okay, so then my white queen also showed up. Oh my god. Which is beautiful that's and gray. Gorgeous. And how lovely would it be a sweater over this? It will be stunning. Um oh so I'm going to make a cropped um cabled sweater out of this. This is going to be the So this is out of Smashing, which is merino, silk and stellina. Oh my yes, god. Yes, I am I I am aware that I am all it's aboard gorgeous. the silk train right now. Well, um but I also... It's not quite enough to be Ben friendly. No, but he knew it when I was wearing it. Mm -hmm. um, so I think I'm going to make the Chuck by Andy Satterlin. I'm pulling it up right now to show you all. Did I show my knitting pattern book? Before? No. No, you didn't. You got that this week. Um, so that's the Chuck by Andy Satterlin. Um... I really love it, and I, I wear a lot of high-waisted things, as I've said before, and I think it'll look really cute with a lot of my skirts and my pants. Oh my goodness, it would look, it's going to look so cute with my purple pants. Yes. Well, any pants. You all don't, don't know about my purple pants. I hope to wear them at some point this week and then hopefully get a photo, um, one of my coworkers, to take a photo of them so that I can post it but I got purple pants and they're phenomenal um but this is white queen it's a gray with with some yellowy bits but mm. it all works out really well mm, no thank you there I don't I don't like the things with the sour stuffs on them it's really good I'm not a sour stuff person but yeah I'm in love with this and in the sparkle it's like subtle enough but also like sparkly enough to really satisfy that sparkle craving and then I got the other two skeins of slaps giving for my slaps giving Mira um, which I swatched for at Thanksgiving mm -hmm. um, so this was the swatch if you can see that um, that's really pretty yeah so um, my cousins Two of my cousins bought me this yarn. My grandmother bought me the um, smashing, and actually Ben bought me this. Well, I know it's like he—it's it's, it's like he, you know, loves me or something. I don't know. I don't know. Uh -huh. I don't know. Um. So yeah. So that's what came in the mail today or this week, and it was very exciting. Um, that is very exciting. So, I, tr I I have resisted the urge to ball these up and start casting this one on specifically. You should wait till after Christmas. Well, I need to kind of finish a, a, a sweater or two for a grandfather or two. Yes. That's first. true. Um, well, those gummy bears that came in the Bluebell mm -hmm. are good. Yeah, good. so. I'll tell you the other thing that's really good is this thing. This thing was. The Fruity Chew? Yes. Okay. Good to know. I haven't eaten mine yet. It's delicious. It's from Great Britain. Okay. And it's delicious. If you don't like yours, just take okay. bite off a piece. I'll take it because okay. it was really good. It was lemon. Oh. Mm. So what else have you gotten this week? Because you got a few things for your pattern designing binge you're on. Yes. So this is by the interview of Kate Atherley. Kate Atherley. And the knitting patterns. And then my mother bought me this. And then she also bought me the class in how to write knitted patterns, but I haven't gotten the link for that for some reason. So I have to call them. Mm -hmm. It shows up in my orders, but it doesn't have a link. Okay. So I need to call them. Yep. Um, not like I'm going to do this this week. No. So we can let Christmas die down. The other thing I did was I ordered... Well, at, last week I mentioned the Ann Bud book from that I heard mentioned yes. many times by yes. the knit uh, by the Knitmore girls, right? Jasmine specifically because she knits all of those um, specialty sweaters for her kids, right? Uh, so I ordered and got the digital copy of the book. So this is the handy the Knitter's Handy Book of Top Down Sweaters. And, yeah, I know, this is in the digital copy. I printed it at work. I brought paper in, yeah. I bought the ink, and as I sit, sat there 
grading exams and writing up a new syllabus, I was printing like a fiend. So I got this one done and then I got, this one's got stuff on it. There's also the Knitter's Handy Book of just sweater patterns, which is from the bottom up sweaters. And they're very, it's already, that And one, isn't there a third one? There is, but I didn't print it yet. Oh, okay. Um, yes, it's a handy book of patterns. No, it's not, nothing. So these are all recipes? They are recipes. So they say, if your person is this big, this is the kind of uh, sleeve decrease you should be doing. So for my sweater, which is made top up, bottom up, bottom up. I use their recipe for how many to bind off for the, the armhole. Nice. And I'm hoping that, that I've looked in the book, um, which is why this book is open. It will then give me the, uh, how to make the sleeve uh, for that sweater. So I'm, I've already started using it. I think it's fabulous. Good. I'm glad yes, that I'm my recommendation very, was good. Very, of course. Um, I was sure that it would be. Well, I'm kind of upset now that the no more girls are done with their... The Knitmores made me do it oh. contest because this would have been perfect. It would have been perfect. Just perfect. So. As it is, I intend on submitting these grandpa sweaters for Project Sweater Chest. Ah, yes. Because, you know, grandpas. I could submit mine. You could. I mean, we have to wait until Christmas because then you can get a photo of him in it. Uh, oh, yeah, Nan had the audacity to tell me that the other one is falling apart. I almost choked on my I tongue. I told her it wasn't falling I apart. I know. That it was just that it was full of... Pills. Pills. We'll bring and the that we'll gleaner. bring the gleaner. I, I tried to order one. Something after my Jimmy Bean's nip. Jimmy Bean wool? Jimmy Bean wool order. It stuck someplace. And again, I'm not calling them until after I get back. Because if it shows up, great. If it doesn't, it's okay, too. I right. ordered her a gleaner. I said, Ma, it's just pills. We'll we'll get depill it. It'll be fine. Are you sure? Yes, I'm positive. And, She's and really cute. And it'll pill again because he wears it all the time. But, but now just, we'll have two other options. You'll just depill it and move on. It's not falling apart. You never know the woman was a knitter, but she usually used acrylic out of uh -huh. Marshall's or the Woolworth store. She was very big on the Woolworth store. Um, but I mean, I think that's all I've got. I really, I'm trying to bust through this these sleeves so that I can get back to the the actual sweater. I got to about five inches on the sweater, and then I had this much of the ball left, and I figured that this is a good amount to do some striping in to I move have... to the next color. The next oh, that's ball. Nice. Yes. So I decided to stop there and do the sleeves so that I could get the sleeves in all one ball. That's a good idea. Was the plan. And then whatever remains of this, I'll finish in the body. And then I will ball up the fourth. No. This is the second. I will ball up the third skein of it. Maybe I'll ball it up while I'm here tonight so that I just have it wound. Probably that's a good, a good idea. idea. But I'm hoping to get the sleeves done soon so that I can get back to the body of the sweater. The body needs a total of, I think, 13 inches before you do the ribbing. Um, and I'm thinking I'm I can do that. Getting my needles here. Oh, to do your, to put your waist yarn in? Put my waist yarn nice. in. Nice. Yes. Um, but yeah, I think that's where we're at. We're a little rambly today. I but thought we were doing pretty good. I think we are, but I feel a little rambly. Um, oh. We are not talking about Star Wars because I have not seen it yet. Um, I'm seeing it this evening, and you probably won't see it until we go see it for Christmas. Probably not, no. Um, but it's usual for at least the episodic ones, so episode, you know, currently I get to seven. Knit all this week. You do. Oh my god. I have meetings on Tuesday, but I get to knit all this week. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's really cute when she notices. <laughs> It's really cute when she notices. Oh my god, that's wonderful! What a gift! Okay, I may be able to finish those mittens before we go. I think you should try. Because <laughs> that's with the nerd girl progression and the... It's with the orange yarn over there. Yeah. And then my... And the progression and, my and your fluff. Yes. Yeah. I will... I'll 
Yeah. All right, so I'll finish this, then I'll get my mittens. Mm -hmm. Okay. And actually, I noticed, oh, what I've been meaning to tell you for the last two weeks, uh, sorry, y'all, um, if you follow Backyard Fiberworks, um, if you don't, you should, yes, you because should. for every day in December, they're doing a giveaway if you, if you follow and you comment on their photo. Um, and a few days ago, they had a really nice set of, I think it's exactly, almost exactly the same set of their minis that I have, okay. and a gray yarn. So I went, and I actually also realized that I have a gray yarn from Nerd Girl that could replace the gray I bought from Stephanie, and then use the gray I bought from Stephanie with that set and make that pattern. We'll see. Once I get so to making win? that. No, I haven't won them. Oh. There was a really pretty set yesterday of like a bunch I of jewel get tones. To, I didn't get to, I've done some of the days. Yeah, I've, I have not gotten every day or at least entered every day, but there's all, there's been like upwards of like 400 comments every day. It's wonderful. Um, I mean, I think what Alice is doing is amazing and like that is such a... I don't know if it's a mitzvah, you know, to the yarn community, but it's just such a lovely idea. Um, and I mean, she uses random number generator to determine who, or something of the sort, ran, you know, a random choice um, to pick the winners. Um, I just, I think it's so lovely um, that she's doing that. Um, nice, and it's yeah. the, it's a set of yarn and the pattern that they're recommending. Really nice. Um, it's all, and the photos are so cute. Um, they're real, they do good work. Um, and I can't wait to see them at Vogue Knitting Live. Yes, that'll be nice. Um, and actually they have a book coming out called, I think it's called I Knit New York. And I think it's, you know, knit like a local or something like that. It's very cute. I'm very excited about it. Oh, Stephanie invited me over to knit, to knit with her today and a group of people, but I I let her know, like, you know, we couldn't come, but thank you for inviting us. Well, that was nice. Yeah. I really appreciated it, Maybe and I let her another know. Another Sunday we can go. Maybe. Is that her group in the city? I don't know. She didn't really elaborate, but I also wasn't, you know, we were coming home from church and um, right. coming over here. So, right. I just, we had right, so that's going to be my hat. The hat that portion? Part. Yes. Well, part of the hat. The other part is then connected to what you're doing now, I thought. Right. So it's connected here, and then it's connected at the other part. And then, are you casting on here? I am. Ah, I'm yes. I'm casting so on now. It is half of 32. the 32. Or two-thirds of the hat, something like that. I'm casting on 30, no, 36 stitches. I just took off 64. So it's two-thirds of the yes. hat. Um, nice, because that would be a very small hood for that kind of thing. It will be lovely. It will be lovely. Yes. I'm very excited. I am very excited, too. Can you um, come? Yes, yes, I can. Um, so, yes, so next week is Christmas. Um, yes. I think we'll, we'll be recording be... on Christmas Eve. Yes. Um, and then the next weekend is New Year's Eve. And, and we'll be here. We'll be here. <laughs> we'll see if we have Maybe any in guests. The afternoon. Yes. We'll see if... Uh, we, we, could have guests. we could have guests. We'll be cooking like crazy. But yeah. We so we might actually do it from the kitchen table downstairs and while we're cooking. And maybe if my friends are willing, uh, we might have guests. Um, as we've said before, we don't want to put anyone on camera who does not yeah. want to be. Um, because that, that just is a little invasive. Um, what the frick? Dropped a stitch. I dropped a stitch. Catch it. I am. I am. Um, so I think... Time to weave in those ends? Uh, well, I think it's time for me to catch this stitch. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think that ends today, though. Um, oh. Oh, no! I didn't open these things! Oh, you didn't open your advent calendar! And there's something in this. I know, I, I know what it is, because it was what 16. I had. It's the same thing I had at 16, I think. We'll find out. We will. Have yours gone into shades of red now? I went. Oh, I have a, thread. I have a notebook. Yes, a notebook. With oh, I love these notebooks. They're so lovely, they and are. a little pencil. I, I thought the pencil was lovely too. That is really sweet. Great for making notes, counting your rows, etc. Yeah, and 
this. Oh. Is very nice. Is that 17? No, it's 16. Oh. This. Oh, and I used my little nitty knotty and I counted. I get 20 yards. You get per, 20 yards? Per five grams. Oh, now we're going into purple. Ooh. I had a brown. I had a really lovely, crunchy, rusticy brown. Doesn't that look like purple? It looks like a purple. It looks like a mauve. A mauve. A mauve. Mauve. That is pretty. I'm thinking I might need to make rainbow socks. I don't know how much I get. I have a... We will find your nitty naughty and we will do it. I have a yard counter. Yes, I do. It's right in that little box. Somewhere in that box. That we box. Might, might be able to use that. You... Maybe. <laughs> maybe. My gadgets? Yes, her so, gadgets. All right. There it is. Go, go gadget. Lovely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I should see how much it is that I'm getting. Sounds good. Okay. All right, I don't yes. think that, I don't think we're going to have time to get to the yarn store uh, fiber space. This down. coming up Christmas? Yeah. No. I don't think so. My, we'll be down on the day before Christmas Eve, so the 23rd. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to the winery with the cousins. Ah. Uh. No, we have well, we'll go down earlier. We're going down earlier because we're going to be in Philly, which right. you all will see on the 22nd. Hope for, I, am, I don't know. That might be, it might actually be one of the ones I put on YouTube, depending ah. on how many video clips I do. Okay. Um, but it also will depend on who I'm meeting up with and I their... I didn't know what you people you were talking about. Them. Hmm. You'll see because I'll send you photos because, right. you know. Right, do that. Well, and also... Some of my friends do not want to be on our social medias, which I understand, uh, but they do not mind if I send a photo to my mother. You know, there's there's a little <laughs> bit different between a public, you know, social media presence versus, oh, my mom wants a photo. Right. Um, one's public, one's not. Yeah. <laughs> one is, look at how adorable these people are. That's right, the baby. The baby. All right. Um. So, yeah. Um. So we're going to be in Philly, and then we'll be down in the Alexandria area. Um, but then after New Year's, we're going to miss a week. Yes, that is what I was trying to get to. I thought it was. Yes. But then after that, we have Vogue you come knitting. back, and we have Vogue Knitting, which we might have a special surprise for you all, but we will we will have to we'll see. Have to wait and see. Um, and yes, I am going to be continually teasing you all about that so that you can get excited and, you know, watch, watch, watch probably, maybe not this space. No, maybe. Instagram. We'll see. It mostly we'll be on Instagram. Mm -hmm. um, but we will that also... a metaphorical watch this space. Okay. Yes. Um, but I think... I think we've come to our the end of our row, and I think time it's time to, to weave, weave in, in our ends. ends. So, goodbye, everybody. Wishing you a very happy holiday season. Yes. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Festivus. Yes. Happy Kwanzaa. Happy, happy all Christmas. of the things. Merry Christmas. And we will see you next week. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.